<laughs> How'd you do it? Tell the camera, tell the camera how you did it. Let's start by having you just shuffle the cards. I can just go ahead, grab. Yeah, just a card, any, anyone will do. Okay, then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna place it back on top of the deck. We'll put it back into the deck. I can mix them up a little bit. It gets harder and harder for me to know where it is the more I mix it. What we're gonna have you do is we're gonna have you come up to the deck and just flick like that. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> I don't know if you've kicked many footballs, just kind of a gentle tap. What was your card? <laughs> what would be the odds that you cut to her chosen card? Could you just lift up maybe half the cards, place them in the tent? Yeah, place them. Turn it over. Oh my god, that's that. Now there's no way, once I cut these cards, that we can find this card again, right? What I'm going to have you do is I'm just going to have you drop the cards onto my code. Should I drop it like cards? I'm gonna try and find your card, I'm gonna try and find it without using my hands. Turn it over. No crimps, no loops, no bends, no breathers. It's actually far more straightforward than that. In fact, in almost all situations, you could perform Fragment with a borrowed deck. It's so versatile, you can use the secret behind Fragment to cut to their card, drop and let gravity cut to their card, putt to their card, and even kick to their card. With a little bit of creativity, we're sure you'll discover even more applications for this simple technique. Fragment is so close to self-working that in almost all cases, the spectator can perform the effect themselves. This is something we've had a lot of fun with lately. And honestly, we're just so happy to be able to share it with you. Join me, Jacob, and my friend Benji as we teach you the secret behind Fragment.